heat. We got it going to DC. Out of the team, he's gonna move continuously. <laughs> everyone doing this is gonna be my forever model this this is the model I'm gonna use forever that's it <laughs> he has the brand of the dragon. yeah I'm just a full-on dragon now not not even just you know uh, a, a humanoid one No, 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 Iron Cam. Oh, stupid game has too uh, loud of right audio. Click, right click on your sound settings in the left corner of your first screen. Here, on the sound icon, the sound icon. Mm. Right click, not left. Shots. Volume mixer. And I'm drag down Monster Cam. I was. Nah. Nah. Shouldn't be too much of an issue now. I'll just read this part and then we read our own narratives. When it's our turn. Still gotta do that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even louder now. Nice try, monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be. Okay. Should be done now. My server hurts the bad box. Say it all final form joining. Hey yo guys, I'm gonna transform to you no longer a scorpion. Just wait. I'm no longer gonna be Uh I'd say keep it with dragon. Real time, we're probably not even gonna do right now, are we? I originally wasn't planning to, no. I mean, you could redeem Just... it, but you'll be severely disappointed. But you'll be seeing me too. I probably look the most on the music I could have ever looked, so. You're just tired. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> so, no, I would refund IRL Camp for today. I mean, you could do it, but maybe later in the stream at the end. No. No. Yeah, no. I don't want to. No. I really don't want to today. Any other day is fine. Well, for tomorrow, I'm also gonna just purposely skip it. I, I do not want to go for face cam on my fucking birthday. <laughs> nah. You're just gonna be sitting here with a bird by half. Nah. <laughs> I don't think we ever just have that. I don't think we just have that in the fucking house anyway, so. so we're just containing a truck. Just work. Just put the in. How much is it this part? Ah, uh, Cam Spooky, the sage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has a distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights and... I don't fucking know what that word is. Can you react? You with possibilities. <laughs> it's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. No, I'd like a pocket therapist. No. And I guess I should put the fucking mic more this way anyways. No, no. Yes, because it doesn't pick it up. It doesn't pick- it probably doesn't pick up my voice properly right now. Because I put it all the way that way. Not that oh, stupid. Wait, my ear goes in next to me. 
you up here. Oh no, that pad is way up there. Oh god. Yeah, so I'm going with three. Throw items don't work on PNGs. That's a refund. Yep, that's a refund. I thought that one might have been obvious. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. I wasn't going to change my PNG today. Ooh. You want to do the ara as well? Ara ara. No, I actually have to get the mic closer. Ara ara. Ooh. Um, fine. I'll change my PNG. That's a shame. Oh, shit, you just joined! How quick do you think I am? Quick. I'm not a straight guy. I'm not done with him five seconds. Nice one. <laughs> Fuck. It's true! Don't cry about it somewhere else! It's not that quick! side is shit. So. Or OBS is shit. I'd like to blame it on OBS instead. No, just blame it on technology. Just because I don't like OBS still. And now I need to change the stinky Among Us. Hello there. I have reverted to my final form. Too close. Ow. <laughs> Wasn't planning on changing my PNG for redeems today. That's the I'm not gonna make it smaller, fuck that. I set it up perfectly for the other one, so I ain't changing it for this shit. We all need for the scum. Not even scum. Me not feeling like properly changing it for today. No! Suck my D! Uh, Cam sounds like a lot of work. Oh, you get the. You get better items? What was that for? Orgy adequate? Adequate? Competitive tarot. You want that one? Yes. Satanist. That book. That I... That's a Satanist. kid. Say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. 
And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just two weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch a damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. The mouse from all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were, a we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, 23, a badass witch who wanted to kill a bit after saving the world countless times. Really, JJJ. Mm -hmm. That's the Spider-Man. What? That's the Spider-Man reference. JJJ. Oh. Aravi Mitra, 22, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculaster. Calculaster Hewlett Packard, B1.1. New outfit. Wait, he got updated? No, he just got a new outfit. Oh, well, probably no, updated. Version. Mm -hmm. what, what? He does. He does look different. He looks a bit more better. A library yes. computer had become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. <laughs> you can have him. Chill, chill. I'll go for Dahlia. I'll fight you for Calculaster. Dahlia Aquino, twenty, a buff blue demon. And Warmonger. Who had set her sights on conquering summer next. Damien Lavey, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Now, I want both of the demons, please. <laughs> Fight me, bitch. <laughs> and Milo Belladonna, 23, a death reaper for doubling as an internet influencer who was profoundly in love with life and all his earthly pleasures. The bus trip was long, and all of the summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear. It all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Besides finding love, what's your main goal at summer camp? Destroying my relationship with you. What? This, this game has too many difficult words. Mascarpone. That's food. Yeah. That's Italian food. Yeah. Not really sure what that is. It's like a cheese. I've heard enough. <coughs> I don't know. I think it's used for tiram tiramisu. Yeah. To so be the very best at survival, to earn all the monster scout badges, to level up as a person, to be left alone just for once, to prove my understanding of living things. Enjoy some alone time this summer. Uh. Shut the fuck up. I mean it. For this one, I mean it. I bought a couple good books for me to read. Hopefully, I finish at least one of them by the time camp is over. No ASMR. No. Purpose wanted to do it this way, but I can't reach underneath it. Smells too much like uh, you know, pineapple. It smells too much like pineapple. Yeah. I'm probably gonna hate it. Well. We're usually so busy saving everybody else's asses and getting no thanks whatsoever. I rarely have time like this to read and relax and enjoy some peace and quiet. I'm hoping for the best, and hopefully you get some alone time too, Pete. They can read together in silence at time. You know what? I'm taking a bitch. Master survivalist, huh? Well, if you're lucky, I can pass some of my expertise on to you. I'm kind of a wilderness survival badass. I've learned all about how to survive with no food or water, and I got lost in the west wing of my dad's mansion for three hours straight. Just stick with me, Zedos, and we'll survive the wilderness together. Good question, though. 
that they have private bathrooms in the world. They do have private bathrooms in the world with us, right? I'm a bit of a shy pooper. <laughs> we only have two weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Are we? Are we? Adventure awaits us! We're still young. I've only played this once with Toby and someone else. And I think that was like fucking one maybe two years ago. Yeah, I don't really taste anything. Fine. Yes, you should. It mainly smells like pineapple. Now, in the haunted manor, a little cow man writes and tries to call up to you and asks if you would like to play a game. Dropkick Billy. Dropkick him. You'll love games. You suggest mon Monopoly or categories. The Cloud Man tells you to find the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all your skin off. You're not super into that ID, so you do decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving some puzzles together. It's lots of fun. You don't gain fun here. You gain plus two boldness instead. Later, you're looking around for joy. You just finished reading our copy of How to Be a Slightly Better Friend Despite Your Suffocating Horniness. Wait, Dr. Yuji, <laughs> Do you get why I said this game might be worse? <laughs> you see Joy nearby. She's quietly reading and you learn that it's rude to interrupt. So you give the book back and turn to, and turn to go. Yay, you show basic respect to your friends. Wait. That's it? You're just going to leave? Without introducing any absurd high stakes shenanigans? Duty calls. Come on, don't be shy. How is this. How? Inciting? That makes sense. The anger of dark evil forces. And I always save you thanks to my magical powers and impeccable leadership skills. You tell Joy that you don't really have any urgent that the time is going on. Ever since you stabbed that ghost in the face last week, things around camp have been pretty chill. <coughs> oh, well, I guess that's good. I mean, it's not like I was hoping you would possess my eldritch horror so I could cleanse you and take away from a primal evil. Uh, she, she definitely gets off on saving people. In fact, I'm happy that you're not interrupting me with life or death narrative stakes. I was technically supposed to take this summer off, so I guess I'll relax. Joy is so cute and also low-key low workaholic. You reminded that she defeated Dimitri and Morty's plan to poison the water supply last week. That wasn't of heroics, right? B, you're totally right. Dimitri and Morty are my closest official nemesis. We should head over to Camp Rival Camp right now. Let's save the world. Just find Dimitri and Morty and make sure they're not plotting the end of the world or the rise of the dark side. Anything like that. Great idea, B. Not what you meant, but what else? You follow Joy to Camp Rifle Cab, and to hide out in the bushes. Right away, you spot Dimitri and Morty. <laughs> Aww. Check out those fiendish, muscular villains. They're clearly planning some kind of evil scheme. Just look at them. They're using that sword to... make adorable or dummy animals? Yep. Morty and Dimitri are doing some adorable and maybe deadly crafts? Arts and crafts? Before long, they move on to their next bit of activity. Grooming an alpaca! Dimitri put a party hat and a poncho on an alpaca. And Morty is busy weaving beads into his mane. They're having so much fun. Hmm. Okay, I know it doesn't look like they're being evil, but what if that's a sacrificial alpaca? Maybe they're preparing to sacrifice in some kind of evil ritual. Then, you watch as these two shirtless goofballs cook up some homemade raspberry jelly. Somehow, they fashion some fancy jelly, jelly beards, and then wear the beards, ah, sticky but sexy. I hate them and pick it up. I can growl. Ah. 
This is so frustrating. I can't tell if these two are doing evil deeds or if they're being stupid. I don't look like a total idiot if I intervene when there's no evil to defeat. I can't believe I'm saying this, but B, what do you think? How do you tell if Morty and Dimitri are actually being evil? Dimitri and Morty are idiots, and stupidity is basically a different language. I am for Claire, who's fluent in stupidity. So, Damien? Since Scott is no longer here, yeah. <laughs> Disney movies taught you well. These two are evil, they're burst into a classic villain song sooner or later. Oh. I knew it. I like that one though. I don't care what she thinks. An evil villain song? I don't know, V. That kind of, that's a kind of off genre, but I guess Dimitri and Marty's school more musical than I do. <laughs> Wait, holy shit. I think I hear highly singable music. Where's that music even coming from? Let's go check it out. You enjoy stealthily sneak closer. Sure enough, you catch Dimitri and Morty breaking out into song. Yo, he's rocking though, so... <laughs> He's fucking rocking them. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you like this, man. It disturbs me to see you, my friend, covered with raspberry jam. But I know that these afternoon arts, arts and crafts, Jesus, are a critical part of our plan. Yes, Bietta. As it may seem, we're unwise. But it's all just a part of our plot. We'll use the llama, the cranes, and the beards, and they make us even more hot. He's already hot. He isn't, though. Well, no. Nah. He's a bull. A load of bullshit. The pants are doing it. Their pubes <laughs> sticking out of his fucking trousers. He's a bull, what do you expect? Balls. <laughs> what are you reading it? Yeah. We both may be totally evil. <laughs> no. Let's focus on crap. My raspberry beard is a massive success. Let's make jelly pubes for my shaft. <laughs> Someone please close that. Is it raspberry jelly or raspberry jam? What the heck is res raspberry preserve? I just forget it, regardless, old pal. We'll make you the pubes you deserve. Uh, uh, wait. Are these guys evil or not? They're singing, but you have no idea if that was a Disney film with Anthem or just poorly written duet about edible pubes. Enough of this. I can't take this anymore. To meet me, Morty, just tell me. Are you guys being evil or just being stupid? I have to know. In the darkness, I come. If it isn't my rival joy. Yeah, I'm skipping the first part. I'm not gonna evil laugh. Do you think I purpose to skip that one thing? You make ugh. fun of for me. It's just ugh. And everyone says it differently. I just cough and ugh. But we'll never reveal our secrets to you. Aren't you entranced by our dark and mysterious moments? Are you feeling seduced by the mystery? <laughs> Oh, she's totally getting grown downright to do a mess of She was hiding in the bushes, watching us rub each other in jelly. Are you obsessed with us much? It's the fucking shorts that are doing it. No? Say those are no shorts. Oh, please, God, no. <laughs> no. At least let him have a heart. <laughs> now it's your work art, maybe. This time the slug will be out. I said it. <laughs> that would be scaly, though. That's up, that's up to you to decide, I guess. No, no scaly <laughs> No scaly <scary. laughs> This is absolutely mortifying. <laughs> can't believe that I'm getting out bannered right now. You're not sidekick material. <laughs> this whole thing is your fault. Yeah, that's what my parents say as well every day. <laughs> Nothing fucks up my protagonist game like a fucking incompetent sidekick. I'm leaving and I hope you feel dumb. What? Uh, just insulting you again. No, I insulted myself. This whole thing is your fault. That's something my parents say to me every day as well. 
such a <laughs> nice <laughs> place. <coughs> My throat hurts. I have to give him a French accent. Give him the French accent. Fuck off. What do you check out me? What a wildly disastrous attempt at seducing Joy. Could you be yet more obviously? Yes. Strike a pose! Joy's hot as fuck. But you should give up now. Unless you think you can compete with our raw sexual charisma. I moved up 20% of the road. You know how I compete with them? I have daddies. But, dude. He has heart shaped holes on his ass in his shorts. I'll get a heart shaped bra on my OC. <laughs> yeah, has to have the hearts cut out. Yeah. Or that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't like when you do that. Damn, you've been betrayed by the very Disney-esque strokes that defined your childhood. Ha, ah, fuck you, I never watched Disney. Unpopular opinion. I don't like this thing. <laughs> the disappointment makes you lose your creativity and what's worse. Is there a place where I could just do Explain nothing? I still don't like this thing. <laughs> <laughs> where do you wanna go? Can you see what gives what? Because I need boldness. Uh, I took that one. of the lake is in a bit of a bad mood, a bit of a mood though. It demands an offering before you can get in the water. The only thing you have to give is your favorite yo-yo, which you were playing with on the way here. The god of the lake accepts your humble gift, and is actually kind of relieved you didn't leave something boring like a dead fish and soul was mortal. So in addition to getting access to the lake, the god blesses you with most of fun. You find Damien standing on the pier, throwing matches into the water, stud and saying some pretty creative words. <laughs> Soggy eel tits. I came to this camp to kick ass and start fires, but how am I supposed to start fires when there's all this bullshit water here for people to throw on them? <sighs> I mean, that's what I was thinking. But now I have an idea. I'm gonna set the lake on fire. That'll teach you to sit here being all wet and non-combustible. Fight me, dude! That's right, you fucking like. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you because I intend to say you are fucking. He's so stupid. <laughs> the grin. Well, that's one. That's one way to get the ladies to drop on their knees. I need a. <laughs> no, you don't cross the You know what? Why are you? Staring at me like that, you buy your fucking water. And they're really gonna fight water. Mm -hmm. You think just because you're all your hydrogen has already expended its volatile energy by reacting with oxygen, with oxygen, you're not flammable? Well, well, holy fuck, he is smart. You're right. You see what I'm <laughs> up against the Zedos? I can't give up hope. After all, Rome wasn't burned in a decade. It took a lot of barbarians. It took a lot of barbarians a long time to do it. Okay, I take back what I said about. Hey, yeah, all I need is a little help, and I know this is a pretty intimate request, but uh, would you help me set this lake on fire? Thought he'd never ask. Now look at me, you got the perfect plan. <laughs> Kill 300 Vikings, so you can have 300. Humiliate the leg with the sick of burn of all time. What the f what does it mean? But he likes setting things on fire. I think it's too stupid for the burn. Yeah, Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I hate this game already. It doesn't make sense. No, I don't hate it. it doesn't make sense. We're getting you the game once I come. I'm waiting until another show. Is that a massive thing? I'm still gonna wait for another sale. That's the only luck. That's the best thing you could do. You mean? Me and Norton are starting a big fire. We have to do a big murder. Why isn't every plan like this? When Damien put your murder suits. Put on your murder suits, I go out a killing. You find a victim. If I can melee already in progress, I can totally crash it. Damien, true to form, rides into the fray on a horse made of guns and starts crumpling up the Vikings and feeding them to each other. It's kinda hot. The Vikings, for their part, do a pretty good job of eating all Damien's bullets and shitting out battle axes. <laughs> At the height of the melee, Everyone is breathing fire, dunking each other in bath of acid, and grabbing tanks by the gun barrel so they can beat each other. But all good things must come to an end. Eventually, you pack up all the corpses of your enemies in a big sack and drive them back to the town. When you get back, you realize you miscarried. You accidentally harvested 312 Viking corpses. Whoopsie. Brad! Nice. We call that a Murderers dozen. <sighs> Anyways, let's slap these bad boys on some long chips, fill them up with flammables, and shoot flaming arrows at them and... until I'm so hard I can't stand straight. <laughs> Not so fast, growls a certain voice from behind you. You turn to find an army of 9,000 pissed off Vikings down there. The lead Viking scowls at you. Don't tell me you're doing what I think you're doing. What? Honoring your dead in the most appropriate way possible? Fuck yeah, that's what we're doing. Do you even realize since the leading Viking slowly, how much carbon is released into the atmosphere when you set an entire launch of the fire? the fuck are you, Greenpeace? We may love indiscriminate killing and looting, but that doesn't mean we don't care about the environment. Yeah, shouts another Viking. According to a recent survey, Norway is the second most ecologi ecologically friendly country in the world. Second only in the Costa Rica. <laughs> well, how the fuck do you expect us to dispose of all these bodies then? Our preferred method, explains the Viking, is alkaline hydrolysis, also known as water cremation. Bodies placed in in a sealed tube, which is then flooded with a mixture of water and light heated to 300 degrees. The bones are then ground into powder, and the resulting corpse slurry is used to fertilize strictness. Wait, sounds metal as hell. But there's no fire at all. Does that mean? The slave full of stupid water is more metal than me. Oh! Damien wanders away in a daze, questions everything he's ever believed. Unfortunately, this leaves you alone to deal with 9,000 pissed off Vikings. It was too fun and once more. I don't give a shit, I got the piss off Vikings. Everybody chooses a color. Say your choice out loud to the other player that's picking. Yo. Blue. Play artist decided based on which color would be the most concerning color for your tongue to suddenly be. Monster Scout can learn to identify different berries. You also search for berries and try to identify them. Blackberry, blueberry. But right of the deer person finds a very weirdly shaped berry no one can, can identify. You all stare at it for hours. 
Let's go to the abstract art and to bury somehow. It's a true thing piece, a fortune to reflect on bury inequality. And although there were there are no easy answers to the question it poses, you all gain two creativity from the experience. That's all people. You dug into another of Toach's safety lectures, so you can sit behind your friends and smell their hair. That sounds like something you do. Elementary <laughs> school, yeah. <laughs> One of my friends always sat on my lap. <laughs> so I could always hear it smell the fucking hair product you used. Hello, my beloved scouts! Pop quiz, everybody. Suppose you're trapped in the woods during the forest fire. How can you survive? Level up, loser! Easy! I switched to one of the 11 fire resistant armor sets I carry with me at all times. This is the first day of the Why rest survive? of your life. You can I invite some friends and organize a fire day. Tasty. Yeah. I'd run out of the woods, like away from the fire. You're not getting a badge for this. That's right, Joy. The fire's vision is based on the leader, right? That's why he was Scott's coach. Jokes are nine out of ten. That was just yeah. That explains the Enough coach. of this. What? Fire can't see. Not as long as you sound perfectly still. That's fire is not a, yeah, fire is not a fucking T-Rex. Boring. Yeah, it's kind of its own character. Wait, I gotta voice that. Yeah. It's, wait, is this specified in my Oh, fuck it. It's a, it's a spirit. I don't mean to complain, coach, but none of these survival scenarios seem particularly prevalent. Relevant, <laughs> relevant, shut the fuck up. Relevant to me. Uh, an ancient curse that can't die? <laughs> Don't worry, Hex. I've got one that's sure to be relevant to all of you. <laughs> okay, let's say, hypothetically, it's year 3000 and Chucky. <laughs> Chucky Cheese Entertainment has supplanted all the world's government. <laughs> Chucky Cheese himself has not been seen in person for years. He communicates with the populace through ever present screens and watches them with camera with the camera eyes of a million animatronic servants. Pizza has become the world's dominant religion and children are forced to work in the fun mines, harvesting tickets from rick arcade machines. <laughs> I dig it. You're being tracked by Munch's make-believe bag, arm of Chuck E. Cheese's secret police. Because today is your birthday and they want to say, Oh, he did. What's the word for it? What? What is hmm? What's that word for for terrorists that are fully bullshit. What? There's a specific thing you call people that make like bullshit theories like this. Conspiracy theories. That's the one. Conspiracy theories. That's basically what coach is. Not happening. This is someone even lower than the fire thing. I'm leaving. It's not a very scout thing to do. Are you are gonna leave all those hypothetical people to die. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Say yes to the hypothetical. George, George conflicted. Milo's in it for the load. I hit up. And Ron is in it for the XP. But none of them have any idea how to solve this, so it's up to you to suggest a solution. Unity is trying to pull everyone's tickets to get the bug of revolutionary giraffe book. <laughs> if the world is one big fast big fast food restaurant, there's only one solution. Release the Karen! <laughs> we 
gave you hand scratches. No scratches. in the way. Who released a Karen against me? You're mad. You're all mad. Mm -hmm. See? Don't do this. Don't force the, force the world in. No force in the world can control the Karen. The white <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. What good is defeating the Chuckteesian Empire if in the process we become the very thing we hate? We are totally winning our lane! Don't listen to these nerds. Trafficking with occult powers to help me kill stuff is basically all I do. So you're not going to kill the Chuckteesian Empire, do you tell her? You're going to ask to speak to its manager. <laughs> You describe the necessary rituals, the sprinkling of essential oils, the offering of Botox injections, and compliments, the sacrifice of a life. Mm. Okay, the ritual is complete. Roll to summon Karen. <laughs> Get me your manager. Well, that is true. Like, all those things are really yeah. necessary to encounter Karen. None of them. You whip out your survival dice and roll an actual 20. I still need to get a dice. What, do you want to get a d20? I just want a full dice. I want to get a d20. <laughs> oh, you are the manager? Get me the CEO. <laughs> yeah. Coach helps us to find my handbook and finds the appropriate page. Karen is summoned. She used 12 d6 morale, moral damage to everyone unlucky enough to interact with her. She's immune to frost, lightning, and reasonable debate. <laughs> yeah. She tells Chuck E. Cheese that his pizza is cold. She shouldn't have to pay. Shouldn't have to pay for it. Critical hit. Yeah. Chucky. Chuck realizes that all he ever wanted was to bring joy to children. His animatronic pizza dystopia was just an unfortunate time. That's not very bothers. I I'm hate you. That because Chuck E. Cheese said it once. As Charles Entertainment Cheese walks away from the burning ruins of his former empire, he realizes that today is a birthday. The birthday of a new world. <laughs> Disgusting. You've earned a badge! In the end, you survived. Let's celebrate. I got you all cold, greasy pizza. Did somebody say My pizza? My favorite kind. You're killing it. Hey, Pete. It was pretty hot how you roleplayed summoning a dark entity so you could barely control the dark world. I underestimated you. The situation was too stupid for me to even comprehend. Which is why I'm grateful we had a true idiot like you on our side, Pete. You know, I take it. I'm taking it. Than me. I mean, I'm the better person. Have you seen any loot around here? Fuck the pizza! Where's my XP? Where's my XP? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Write a zillion XP on the pizza receipt and give it to a Robbie. Everyone's happy. You gain two smarts and one fun. Um, okay. Oh, 
what? What's this now? You're going to breed actual worse that might disrupt something utter than punching? Ha! Huh? <laughs> what? No, you said that. I was just asking for the one without some. With the one. Without someone punching so that I could eat it. Obviously. Uh huh, right. What did I say, Dahlia? I told you he's going soft. <gasps> But not so soft that you won't still come sand strangling an ocean caking with us tonight, right? My biceps are ready to choke that sand right out. And I got special boots made with spikes on the bottom and the sides on the top so I can really show those ways who's boss. So, she just got extremely spiky boots to kick the shit out of an ocean. She can kick me. <laughs> I can kick me. No. Does sound great, but hmm. but yeah, but speaking of the ocean, I was actually going to watch the documentary of dolphins. I'm making popcorn and baking dolphin-shaped cookies. I want to join. Uh, Whoa, you've changed, Damien. It's no one in the wildfire hasn't appeared to you yet. What? What do you mean? I know you've been on a hunt for the elusive wildfire, and I know it's thus far far eluded you, and I also know why. You. Are unworthy. The wildfire only appears to those who are badass enough to be worthy of its un unbridled glory and untamed maj majesty. No it's true. Yet. I was just in the woods one day playing with Max and Sully. Out of nowhere, the wildfire just appeared. It was one of the most magical moments of my life. There's nothing like seeing a wildfire out in its natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> that was pathetic. Yeah. Too bad you'll never see it. Face it, Damien. You're just not metal anymore. <laughs> Not metal. Not metal. Show them who's not metal. Or I'll show them who is metal. It's me. I'm still metal. Better prove it by becoming worthy of the wild. Yeah. Forty six escape board trick. Escaping from a tank of water on chain and on a skateboard. Quite a poem, but a poem that's very metal. Let's go with the first, I don't fucking know. Fucking metal! Hell yeah! Alright, that's all kinds of metal. I'm gonna summon the carrot, be careful. Yeah, yeah. Zombie. 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 Are gonna be metal. The top of the water tank will be metal, I guess. The wheels of the skateboard? Is metal? <sighs> Not metal, at least. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Who cares? The point is, lots of metal. That'll be the metalist of all. In fact, let's find even more metal. We're gonna have. We're gonna have a tuning fork in each hand when you change. No way. A tuning fork in one hand and a regular fork in the other hand. Actually, I think there's a metal suit of armor in a haunted manner. I could wear that too. After I skip one, I think. I managed to convince Damien not to put on a heavy suit. Of Arm it before you lock him into the tank for the water. Which is good because you can't smooch him every time. Oh, you could. But... No. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could. You're not really into that. It's better if he survives. But I'm a zombie. He isn't. You find a water tank, put a skateboard at the bottom, chain Damien up, and throw him in so that he sinks onto the skateboard. But because he is. Skateboards down the slide, down the side of the water tank, doing one arm handstand on the board. He does a double somersault in the air, hitting the fork with a regular fork to create a beautiful and magical pitch as he lands right side up on the skateboard. That's Damien style, baby! Oh, fucking yeah! Wildfire, come back, bro! <laughs> 
Silly Damien, you can't call it a wildfire. It appears to you when you're wordy, which you're not. Yes, I am. I just get the sickest most medalist skateboard trick ever. I mean, I didn't see it. Hmm. If Damien. If it. Huh. Damien. <laughs> bite you. No. Yeah. If it even does a sick ass kickflip in the woods, but nobody is there to see it. Obviously, yes. <laughs> Obviously not. Or the welfare would have appeared. Zeno saw it. Ask him. Oh, Damien, we all know Zeno's is a thirsty bitch who would say anything to get attention from you. You're a thirsty bitch who's helped me out, okay? And I appreciate it. <laughs> we just... We're jacked. Too bad. We're back to the channel. This fucking channel I need. Hang out with you more. I'm not gonna stop him. You get plus two points of control. Everybody chooses something good. What do you mean? Nuggies. I don't want to go for food related to music. Something good. I think just something good that could I'm just gonna stick to music then. Our relationship. My art is decided based on your ability to come up with a compelling set of her movie about the good thing. Start debating now. <laughs> uh, I should use anything with fucking music in this title. Fairies Lullaby? Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> oh, ghost story! Ghost story! Oh. No, oh, 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 I'd rather go for Milo or I think Milo was Avaria. I think Milo was uh confirmed non-binary. I don't think so. I think I think Milo is non-binary. Characters, oh, no, I think. Yeah. Monster. Oh. Monster camp. Oh. That is disgusting. Sorry. You think I do this on purpose? What? Yeah. yeah. Non binary. I remember Toby saying something about it. Shit, they're dead. We're gonna yeah. by Mary. You were hoping to make sexy small talk with Joy and or Damien, but they seem to be too be too busy having unsexy angry talk with each other. Honestly, there are a million reasons why you can't be the main coven villain next season, but I'll just start with the most obvious. Villains don't ask us to fight them. They just do villainous things, and then we try to stop them. 
What they don't want us to do? You're not a big bad. Yes, I ask you, but you're still you, very you already bad. You're already inherently proving that you would be a terrible coven villain. <sighs> oh, you. But what if I'm using reverse psychology and I'm so villainous that I know the second I let my true villainy shine, even the coven will come to fight me. Which is clearly going to be my next step now. Did you hear what he said? He's all laughing. Ah, arson! <laughs> That's what he just said. <laughs> okay, the real open here is cowmates fighting with each other when they could be flirting with you. It's time to step in. Damon is a prince and everyone knows monarchies are bad. Coupling them with Vase on it. Autography is great next season art material. All good villains are either orphans or have terrible parents. Oh shit. I'd be a great villain. But you, Damien, have two loving dads. Do you really want to give up your dad just to be a villain? <laughs> of course. Don't you know about Demetri's parents? No. Say more. I right don't. On second thought, maybe that lore is too deep. Lame! No fair. <laughs> but I can tell you that Olaf the Obvious wouldn't be nearly as transparently evil if he hadn't lost both his parents at an early age to a tragic and very clearly man made fire. Dark Hill Mally's parents tried to force him into the family poetry business, so he rebelled by being a murderer. Later, the fearsome parents just owned him at the age of ten and a half. Wait, let me guess, so he's not Uh. <laughs> And the croc and merciless, more pretty croc and merciless. His parents forbid him from seeing a movie when he was 11. He's not going to see it anyways. He gave him a taste for crime and he never looked back. Hmm. Um, dark. Is there only one thing for me to do? Brad! Right to my dad. Right now. Make me just own you for a little while. <clears throat> Dear dad, how are you? I'm fine, I'm just good. I'm just good. I'm just so blocked like a soul. Yesterday we played in the lake. <laughs> anyway, I think Jesus is up for a little bit. It's so I can be a villain on my friend's TV show. Or a life that seems like a TV show. That is it. Bye! I love you and I will talk to you after I finish TV or so. Hugs. Princess! Princess! <laughs> yes. When you speak French, I automatically call you female. <laughs> Damien is back, bitches! Now I'm your villain, that's why. Right. Damien wants me to actually This has been joyful. Well, that ought to keep him occupied for a while. Wanna go do something fun and not be ludicrous? Not ludicrous isn't really some really camp spooky brand per se, but Joy does tend to be things more grounded than the rest of the Jokers. So he spent the night making sworn fire magic spells. It's quirky and imaginative, but not as in your face, over the top wild and crazy as the shit other cats are doing. Fun! So close to sleep time, yet so far. Yep, okay. You sit on the by yourself. In the face of all romantic odds, you played it hard to get. You chose to play it hard again. Wow. Now all that's left to do is hope that it pays off. If someone sit with you and make the night magical, who will you spend the campfire time? Forever alone. Let's find out. Yeah. I was actually hoping that. No one sits with you. That's sad face. You're still moping around now. Long after the campfire is extinguished and everyone, everyone is unfair. The camp janitors assume you're some weird monster. Where the Monster Scouts art project and some of them forgot, so they threw you in a dumpster. Now you're alone, it's not like garbage. And you have to pay for 
were delivered by him. They were too creative and too fun. Apparently! Or not one out. Fuck. You new here and don't friend, let me explain how this works. I'll we'll hurry you a drink. The day. You may choose to drink out one, but if you're not into it, you're lucky. There's a mystery box with a second option. It could be better, it could be worse, but one thing is for sure, it will be mysterious. And these drinks, look, choose whatever you want, but I'm not responsible for whatever you put in your mouth. I'm a wizard in training. For you to test my concoction is somewhere between kind and reckless. So, get ready and good luck. Quite a feeling, right? I don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? Mosquito. I also have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what to do. Yeah, no, totally. I'll well, your common sense. And you passed! Your prize is the drink you chose. Why do you get a love potion? <laughs> Quite a feeling, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? Let's have this mystery box because at this point, who knows what you drink? I just love those for chocolate. Yeah, no, totally. I'm setting your common sense. And you passed. Your prizes, the drink you chose. Probably not gonna do much. Fucking. Okay. Is that the love potion? Ah, uh, the love potion. Number nine. The only way to get someone to like you is, is by being yourself and finding someone with whom you can match. The fast way is by drinking this drink. I could use a drink. There you go. Mosquito. Ah, good old mosquito. It's not a drink. It's a magic mosquito that would bring your highest stop. Which one of the two? But when it's finally in your stomach, it'll dissolve and dispute what is what it is absorbed absorb between the rest of your stats. The right goes on to take what's in your tummy. <laughs> I guess right. Yeah, I don't need smarts. I'll, I'll be stupid. This is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. Yeah. Cause I gotta work up. We are gonna call her. Green. <laughs> <coughs> so what would a new soda flavor based on your chosen color? a bunch of delicious edible mushroom. Well, you think they're edible anyway. I mean, you ate them. On a completely unrelated note, you also meet an ancient all-powerful god who's timerously intelligent and also really into vaporwave for some reason. You gain too smart from your dope conversation with the vaporwave god. You're taking a walk, which is your go-to excuse to get some good farts <laughs> out. That's you. I'm exposed to you. Look, he's back. Macy, Joy, and Scott. Looks like they're wandering around with the camera to mm. fix. No, oh, actually, they're going to want to walk some hard mm. <laughs> Scott, I'm trying to get a good shot of the extremely dead possum over here, but I can't get to focus quite right. Any ideas? Uh, um, uh... Gojo says they got to stay focused the whole day. Even if you think there might be a bone buried under your feet. If not... He's <laughs> dumb as fuck. <laughs> You've got a sufficient amount of parts out for the time being, so you wander over and ask what these two bodies are up to. That's legit to you. Oh, hi. Oh, Scott and I are just taking pictures for our photographic class. Here comes Kiki Slides and distracted from the constant never ending stress of my world saving beauty. Photography! I love the pictures. You know that feeling when someone pats your head at the beginning of your pool? You can take a picture. You for 15 minutes now. No, because you'll remember it for 15 minutes. 
It doesn't mean I have to pat you for feet. I say it does. What are you doing, your feet? You're not by any chance here to follow us around and try to get one of us to sleep with you? No. That's one of these mother bars. It's you start nervously sweating and sure joy that you're not here to increase your stats until one of them agrees to bone. <laughs> you're here because you, you, um, you feel also a little photography. Yeah, let's go with that. Throw a bit to whip out your phone and show them all the pictures taken of your semi-nude body. <laughs> Wait, you were doing photography? That's a phone. Phones don't make pictures. Don't worry. It's an easy mistake to make. I get my camera confused with calculator all the time. <laughs> you just thought that your punk can and need to take pictures. You open your camera up, snap a picture of his tail, even though it's wagging a lot, and show it to him. Whoa. A phone can take a picture, and it can also take a call. I didn't know that they could do two things. Let's do it! You're not really some kind of daughter here. You gotta check out my technique. And... Give me coach kit? Oh, to improve my form. I'm gonna use a little bit of photo. Scott shows you enjoy his picture taking technique, which is mostly pointing at shiny objects excitedly and throwing his camera at them. It's on Scott that you've got a game changing tip for him. He just needs to press the big black shiny shutter button on the camera. That'll up his game for sure. <laughs> Wait a second. Scott, have you not been pressing the shutter button? We've been out here for three hours! There's no wonder you got an incomplete on our own last assignment. Ah. Wait, so if you hit the big button, the camera actually takes the picture. Before we politely ask the camera to go, my mind is blown. Well, even I have to admit, that was a pretty helpful piece of advice. I'm almost convinced you're not just here to sleep with one of us. Hmm. But if you're really such a fan of photography, surely you can give me some pointers too, right? I'd love to learn from your expertise. Uh-oh, Joey's calling your bluff. And she'll be way- she'll be way less easy to impress with Scott. You'll have to convince her you're a real pro, or you'll yet again be exposed to super horny. <laughs> Selfie, why don't you tell me, what's your biggest photography secret? You kind of disclose photography biggest secret, Joey. I'd be betraying photography's trust. Okay, so you knew about the buttons to take pictures, but what about the other secret buttons to take better pictures? You told Joy that you take your friendship with photography seriously, so you can't share your friend's secrets. That's a big move. Enough of this. Well, Fee, that makes zero sense. Like, none. Nonsense. It's nonsense, nonsense. Oh, bro. Really, Joy? I thought Fee was kind of being a good friend. Good pros respect the pros' rights. The other one was even more stupid. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a good point. Respecting privacy is one of my foremost values as a feminist or cult practitioner. Oh god, he's a feminist. He's To be honest, I've been working more with therapists lately to try and be being a bit more patient with people and judging a little less. <laughs> Especially when it comes to my friends, you know. I want to value my friends based on their intentions, not their admittedly limited <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. I'm gonna be judged by my intentions. Not by how long I can sit still with peanut butter on my nose. <laughs> exactly, Scott. That's a good point. And sitting still with peanut butter on your nose would probably be hard for anyone. Sophie, even though your comment was dumb, like super insanely emphatically dumb, Not that bad. it showed that you value the intimacy of your friends, and that's what really matters. Joe Pot chill in the head and gives you a snicker to a cookie. Yay! <laughs> For a second, you wonder if Joy was talking to you like you when you said you wanted to judge people less based on their intelligence. <laughs> but who cares? You're eating a cookie, and let's be honest, you're pretty dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get any smarter from this whole encounter, but Joy's magical sniper dodo gives you two bonus and one fun. I went to get some smartness, but I didn't gain any. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know why it's staring at you, the inky dark is on the bed. Of course it sounds old and untimely. Thank you. 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 Thank
What am I going to bed for? You're resorting your collection Pokemon cards. Thinking which to me. This is fucking boring. No, because Damien doesn't see those cars. Yes, I'm into it, I'm into it, and I can always scare up a Ferrari at a moment's notice. That's a badass. Where the fuck are we gonna get a cat? I can act like a cat. You're more of a dog. I can act like a cat for Damien. Greetings, fellow organic life forms. Oh. <laughs> is that a cat mixed with a pug? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Oh, hello, friends, Amy. Hello, friends, idols. This cat is a good I cat. I this cat in the woods. I don't feel searching for it. The rifle owner. Well, you found him. That's me. The rifle owner of this cat. <gasps> He's a true friend, Amy. You do not seem like the type to voluntarily <laughs> take care of a small, helpless creature. Uh. Well, according to some people, we change that I'm no longer a hardcore badass, so I need to be kind of Lean into that and complete my transformation into a responsible, moral, reckless person. Uh. I'm so glad to hear that. But when we turn the cat to you, I feel like we have much more in common now that I know you care for this cat the way I do. care for my body. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I don't know, actually. Oh, 
probably. Yes, of course. I'm not going to do anything right with the thing. That's bad. Smash cut, too. I don't think they need to say smash cut. Oh shit, that was a smash cut somehow. You're now speeding down a highway at 200 miles per hour in a Ferrari. Quote unquote driven by a cat. Driven isn't close because the cat has no guns. And it's little paws that lead to gas battle. It's a cat. It's a cat in the driver's seat and Damien's foot. <laughs> Damien's foot is fucking gunning the Ferrari. The Ferrari. The Ferrari. <laughs> What's a Ferrari, hun? It's a Ferrari and Ferrari. Crash. You know what I mean? Hey, you're making fun of me, so I'm making fun of you. I'm not. That's not really making fun of me because I was still correct. You're just as dumb as they are, so sure. I nah, I think you might be on Scott level. <laughs> you set me up for that one. No. Please. No. Ferrari crash is spectacularly. Escape. Un escape because you're the protagonist of your own life. Damien knows a dive wall out of the Ferrari, but you can catch it. Damien style, baby! I did it. I saved the cat through the cat. Although I'm a badass with stone cold exterior, I have a heart of gold. <gasps> Whoa, that was actually pretty sick. Yeah. Yes, there's no way that Wildfire can doubt the worthiness of cat. Was the one driving the Ferrari? I'm sure that Wildfire will appear to it soon. I didn't even think of that. Don't worry. We'll get it next time. I find that Wildfire once a while. Just watch this. Us, me, and my dad were starting to think of you as a team. Sick. Plus two fun, plus one charm is all yours, baby. He chooses a movie. Tommy Lance. Well, you can't really die in contact. Well, if you make in contact angsty, you can. The zombies. <laughs> Somehow! Actually, you could die in a condo. Yeah. Because the house starts collapsing. Yeah. What about that one? Spoilers for those who haven't seen it. There are probably still more than enough, because I probably still wouldn't have seen it. Let's be honest, everyone has seen Ice Age. Let's go take a nap. It's a decent one. Wait, does he? Does he have a good time? I don't know. Should we go to the lake? Should we go to the lake Sunday? Hell of a lot. What's the issue? You lost your ability to have some fun unless you play video games or party in the bar raids. I have those, but I'll die. No, no, you see the problem there. You didn't put on sunscreen for the fun is great. This is a fun protection factor of fitting. To wash the fun screen away with some water, so it's some sunscreen. Sunscreen. No. Sunscreen. There you go. Add some sunburn and game go through. Pretend. How do you pretend sunburn? Yep, spooky eye. There we go. 
looking back on your interactions at Cap Spooky. Spooky High, you agree that? Yes. Because you know the love of them. I have them either completely randomly or at most three times. Yeah, because I have to do that with three times in a row. This might actually be super handy again. We tried to prove I'm metal. We already know I'm metal. We tried to prove I'm practically dangerous. The problem is that those qualities those are qualities on the inside. They aren't objectively measurable. I need to do something that is categorically at its core all of those things. And ideally, something that the old me that a Vari and Dahlia think is dead would have done all the time. You can't lure fire with fire, so that's out. Most tried and true activities on the table. Knives! Oh, the Elvis. Crimes. Here we go. Crime time. Crime time. Crime time. Crime time. Yeah! Uh -huh. I'm psyching myself both because it's fun and not because I've begun to doubt that I'm really. that I really am metal and reckless. The cool thing for the wildfires that won't appear to me. Yeah, that was convincing. What crime do you think I should do? Not because I don't know enough about crime, or I'm not a crime expert, and the best criminal ever. Just because you've been a good hype person for me, so I want you to feel included. But again, another very convincing, convincing show complex from the end. But if you're spicy about the crush needs a little extra push, you're having to help him out because you have to prove a crime. Hi, so it's time to steal someone's heart. Popular crime among Gen Z piracy. I think a heist. So you'd say he... that was they were both there. They are both shit. Gen Z sounds something that we are more joy with. Rogers, I will say the best friend is whatever is closest to you and the right place in my life. I'm getting more tired. Wow, thank you, game. I'm gonna pull out a knife and fucking stab you. If you're dead, I can just cut out your heart and it's still pulsating more than that. Huh, it's weird. This is not as satisfying as it used to. Hmm. Oh, your character would still live. I can't quite explain it. It's like the sheer jolt of adrenaline from stabbing someone has devolved into passing amusement, instantly hollow. Agony sears through your system as your pathetic body begins to fail without a heart. You're an excruciating <laughs> What a Mavari, Dahlia. How do you manage to keep saying Avari? Rob and Dahlia were right, but if I really have changed. You're not sure, but what has changed is your body so you're already dead. I'm not gonna get any 
fucking camping. Now that you play competitive spin the bottle. You must kiss a camp from camp to ride the camp. It's a long intense kiss in which you in which your tongues rest on mercilessly. You apply some unexpected biting, since it's currently very high on the meta. While holding the back of your head to prevent an untimely escape. You want a kissing. You go for a saying you've earned two charm. Later you're helping Joy to sell some of her latest potions. You down a mysterious vial, free bubbling elixir, and wait to feel its effects. Did it work, Fee? Can you put any of us horny? No. Joy leads to super close, checking your pupil pupils for dilation. You shake your head. Potion didn't work. You're so super horny. Either that or you're just in love with Joy. You would make an interesting eh, love whatever. interest. This potion only affects us effectiveness about 30% of the time. Plus, I think I might actually niche around the corners if you were cured. I guess you're growing up. Oh, by the way, you've come to, to my show tonight. Remember my Screamo band, Pentagram? I'm the lead singer. Damien and Donnelly are backup. Well, we've got a game. Huh. You're playing at shit church. You know the church, that super shitty bar that they build in an abandoned church? A lot of people confuse shit church with the other nearby church bar, Ash Chapel, but shit church has way more ghosts, and drinks are half price out of leather. You should come tonight. Although, one of these potions, I guess here has a rare side effect to make you turn it into a literal bowl, so if you're busy, I get it. Holy shit, Joy just invited you to her show. That's basically a date. This is your chance to show her how serious you are about having sex with her by being Panagram's number one fan. Panagram is pretty popular though. Chances are there'll be tons of horny fans in the show. You have to distinguish yourself from the crowd to get Joey to notice you. That night you the shit jerks. It's fucking terrifying. The old bar is filled with ghosts, primo fans, and Catholic priests. You can't tell if everyone is speaking in tongues or if they're just really drunk. Also, there are no bathrooms. There's more holes to hell that people are pissing directly into. Yep, this bar is definitely the most terrifying single location you've ever been in. It's the perfect place for a screamo show. And look, there's Fenogram. Joy to see you. Hmm, looks like you showed up, Fee. I'm happy that you're here and that I didn't accidentally turn you into a bull. You would have been a cute bull, though. Fucking metal. Guard your eyes, because Fentagram is about to rip them out with sound. Fentagram! Indy, we're gonna wage war on your body with sound. Come on, Damien, let's beat the shit out of each other to warm up. Calls. Thanks for coming, Pete. We're about to go on, so I should change into my outfit. If you're extra enthusiastic, you can help me take it off after the show. Deal. Deal. God, you're in love with this hot feminist witch, and Fentagram's about to start. Watch this tragedy for being the most awesome fan of all time. Anytime can clap and cheer. You're, you'll celebrate Pentagram's greatness by performing a blood of pagan for ritual in their honor. Never someone would wear a t-shirt with the band's name on it, but you're not average fan. You'll wear a t-shirt with the band members' social security mem numbers. You know what? You know exactly what to do. A pagan sacrifice ritual. And ensure that this gig goes well and prove you're the greatest fan ever. Just one problem. What would you sacrifice? You see a random person standing in a corner of the bar. He looks kind of smart. You approach it and ask who he would sacrifice in the really big and ritual. Don't bother me with such nonsense, with the peasants. I'm the most influential music critic in the world. And I've already decided to give Fanagram a skating review. Just to be me. Whoa, this guy's practically begging to be sacrificed. He gets work right away. A little later, the lights go down. A spotlight illuminates Joy in the middle of the stage. She looks confident, powerful. Hot. Apparently being in a band is sexy. Who knew? This is Pentagram! Hey shit ass, we are Pentagram. We're here to fuck you up and eat men's organs. Wait, what the fuck? Is that a pagan sacrifice ritual circle in the middle to that floor? Joy looks down and sees a giant pentagram in the dark room with blood. Besides the music critics in the pentagram and stuff in multiple times in the <gasps> That is so, so Hardcore. Let's shred the Fenagram. We're gonna get you soaked as sound bitches. The crowd goes wild, Fenagram starts playing, and their music activates the sac sacrifice circle. A portal opens to another dimension. Monster's tentacle issue forth. The demon tentacles start torturing the critic amazingly. Amazingly, the de de demonic shrieks and the critic screams of pain intermingle perfectly with Fenagram's sound. It's a feast of horror and pain and hardcore metal. This is true screaming. The crowd loves it. So would I. Even the critics are cheering and applauding. 
This is the best show I've ever seen in my life. It's just now at an end. It's underground forever. Jared finishes the show with an eight minute power ballad that literally kills the music group. After which she invites you to drink with the band. Fuck yeah, you're a groupie. Oh, that's crazy! Hello you guys, someone recorded our whole show and posted it. Even the part where the grit critic guy said we ruled and that the tentacle ripped his arm. Sick. This I wouldn't mind that. Look, people are even tweeting at us, asking to be sacrificed at our next show. We should definitely make sacrificing audience members like our thing. We should, and it's all because he was such a good fan. Seriously though, what other fan would make a fucking pagan sacrifice for us? What a plot twist. See, this is why I have a secret crush on you. Whoa, I'm a little tipsy. Thanks to God in the day, say that out loud. Joy is the most adorable person you've ever seen. You two hang out at the ship church together in a whole night. It's tons of fun, and Joy even coaxes one of them. One of the tentacle monsters in the giving you an erotic massage. Oh, oh and the tentacle sign to hit great charm. Are we gonna get the jack go. today? You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower. Oh, movie. hey. You wanna be a summer fling, huh? I don't know. Is that. It's true that I need new plot lines and challenges for next season. Ugh. But I don't think dating someone very unappealing is the kind of challenge the audience wants, me, wants to see. See you next face. episode. Thanks for suggesting it. I know you had the best intention in mind, but I think I'd rather battle an army of fallen angels or a very big, very mean armadillo. We have zero chemistry. Oh no, being rejected turns out to be very embarrassing. You put all those camouflage glasses you took to the test. You cover yourself in leaves and aspire to camouflage yourself as a person who's okay. But you fool no one. Everyone sees your broken side from their rejection. You couldn't do even this without fucking uh, okay. Finally got her the courage and ask her beloved to watch me your shower. <laughs> you wanna be my summer flame, huh? Brad! That sounds so fucking rad. We could do so much dangerous shit together before school starts again. <laughs> so many to I didn't get rejected? No, you didn't get rejected. <laughs> I fucked him so many times. I have so many terrible ideas, a lot of ways to blow shit up that I can only do with another person. So, say those my partner in crime. Your lawyer would advise you to say no. Your heart says absolutely yes. Am I gonna see Dave's ass? That's gonna be it, yeah, man. Please. Best fucking summer ever! Oh no. The last day of camp was great. and try to ferment your own whiskey. Really? Always. Oh, it tastes like goddamn garbage. But you two made it together, which is what matters. You two got wasted and ended up laying in the grass, crying and rambling about life, love, and your futures. Nope. Notwithstanding the hangover, you got later, it was a perfect end to the summer camp. No, she Yeah. Yeah. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like an entire lifetime. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older, and I can see it. How those years became the foundation of the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies, sung for centuries, while nights be became every treasure forever. Every kiss and every laugh is how constellation will always find while gazing into the sorry night, no matter how many years go by. Yeah, no. Fuck the Star Wars reference. <laughs> the 
No, it's Meta Show. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Fuck. Why? Why is he sexy? Why? Get out of here. Why? So it's me, huh? Huh? That way. Well, that shall be it for stream. Hope everyone is still watching. Have a good day or a good night and weekend.